Well, how about you, man? How's, how's your week? Yo, what it do, baby? I'm here with my boy Kells right now. We're going over the market. That's, uh, what is it? We're in uh, January right now. We're going to go over like what we did last week. We're about to do this week. Hopefully, we can share some Forex goodies with y'all, and y'all will uh, enjoy this. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, we just went over Kells. Now, we're going over mine. Uh, let's see here. Let me, okay, here we go. Uh, yo, last week was good for me, man. I, um, hold up. Yeah. So this... Uh, let me open up Forex Factory. Yeah, yeah. So there is a uh, there is um what should we call it? Like three news trades. Um, if I go back here, so there was Tuesday. Tuesday had an eight thirty a.m. one uh, CPI USD. No. Um, then I traded. Thursday, I th traded Thursday's retail sales. Um, so like uh, Tuesday and Thursday is the only trades I did. It looks like, and uh, yeah, it's both successful. Man, made uh, I think I only made like, let's do this math. If we do nine hundred divided by nine seventy, or eight seventy, I made like three percent, four percent last week. Yeah, that's all. That's a solid week. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm thinking, like I'm only gonna do like the news trades that I'm relatively certain of. Yeah. And um, well, how, how do you know you're certain though? <clears throat> so I basically I just um like I used to record so much information on them that I I'm I'm somewhat certain that like one will be like a 55 or 60 percent trade. Like I'll win this one 60 percent of the time. And it's usually like the gold USD ones. So like if it's a US news and I'll just trade gold and then I'll just yeah. look at the patterns and I'm like my my biggest take is like I'll go to like uh the minute 15 and I'll kind of look how it's trending on that, right? Uh oh. did, did would I expect the hour before to go up and if it did, is it at a now at like a resistance <laughs> zone? Right? So if it trends up like that inside a resistance zone and it's kind of staying there, I'm like all right, man. Uh, if it's trending up, that means they draw liquidity. So it's probably going to be sells. So then I'll just load the F up on it, you know. Okay. But sometimes they'll be at the resistance zone, but it didn't have like a hour before pattern that I liked. So then I'll just leverage down and I won't trade as much, you know. Yeah. So I just yeah, I just okay. trade some buy support and, you know, sell resistance, basically. Yeah. Here, let me do okay. some nice little patterns for this guy. Let me draw a little chart eyes. Let me start with gold. See what gold's saying. Yeah, let me take a look at that. <clears throat> Two. So you said you're over you're over leverage a lot in the week. Was it um what was what it? Leverage, man. Like <clears throat> what was it? Hey, you're training the the index, right? The SPY index and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, S P. So like uh, S P, right? It moves it moves in, in twenty five cents. Right. Movements. So one contract, right? A one contract will give you a dollar twenty-five. Okay. Right. So if it moves a dollar, then that's five dollars. Okay. Now, for me, uh, like the biggest thing I opened up last week, pretty pretty stupid of me, <laughs> was um, <laughs> was a six a six contract. Right. Now, I really need to question why I'm opening up a six contract. Do you think, like, you just, um, I know sometimes I find myself wanting to open up bigger positions when I, uh, when I've lost a couple, you know, I'm like, I'm like, F it, bro. And I just want to, like, open up a crazy two lot, three lot type of position, you know? Mm. You think well, that's kind me, of it, or? I think that's definitely part of it, but main, mainly, mainly greed. I think it's mainly greed. I keep having this battle with myself like like yo if I keep doing if I keep being greedy I will not I will not make money right and like if I just keep my lots low or inconsistent like I'll be able to stay in the game and take advantage of times where you know the market's just easy right right you know yeah yeah <clears throat> There's this thing, there's this like nature, right? Like, so for me, um, 
it's it's this thing where it's like I um, look at the markets really on like a very part time basis, and it yeah. kind of causes me to only take the good trades, and like because mm. uh, I only trade news, like I know oh yeah. this week I'm only trading like uh, two or three times. So um, if we look at my week coming up, I have a trade on Wednesday morning I can take. I have a trade Wednesday night I can take, and. Yeah. On Friday morning, I have a trade that I can take as well. So, like, I have a possibility of three trades. But some days I'm just tired. I'm like, I don't even feel like taking this mm-hmm. or whatever. So, well, I think it's gonna come back, right? The trade is gonna come back anyway. Exactly right. And then um, today, before I called you, I was like working on. Um, I was kind of working on like uh, my investing plan. Like, so how much I want to borrow and how much I want to invest. Yeah. So I think I'm going to borrow up to like 30 to 35,000 to be honest this time, yo. Yes. And then over the p- course of 6 months I'm going to be investing into forex and in the course of 4 months I think I'm going to be investing into um stocks and stuff like that. Jesus, so Jesus. The, okay, yeah. The stock market's so high that I can really only buy bonds and gold and stuff like that so far and maybe some uh what else is there? Real estate. But um, when it starts dropping, I can actually buy actual stocks again, you know? Yeah. If it drops. <laughs> if it drops, bro. <laughs> so, yo, this shit's going to the moon, bro. Holy. Yo, speaking of stocks, have you seen um the whole Bombardier, Bombardier um, what do you call it, thing that's happening? The whole mess with them? No, what is that? Like some sort of porn? Some sort of freaky porn stuff? No, man. Um, think about Boeing. But it's Bombardier. Oh, oh is that plane, the plane that got guys. shot down by uh, Iran? Was it? I don't no, know. Because so. why is this just, just stock melt like off the earth or something? It melted. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to find something. Uh, bah, bah, bah. It went down like 40% or something, man, in like a day. Jesus. And I'm pretty sure it's because they couldn't keep up with uh, the supply. And like what they're trying to build. Um with this joint venture. Do, 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 yeah, find find me some craziness on that. Um, let's see. So gold looks like it's still going up forever, but it's at a resistance. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna uh oh, didn't mean to do that. <coughs> Bam, let's go, let's go like this. The revenue declining. Um, decision growth. Uh, bam, bam. All right, I'm gonna send you some. I'm gonna send you some good shit. All right. Honestly, I think gold's going down for some strange reason. Yeah. I, that's how I feel. I mean, gold down means market up, right? True, true. Uh, let's see what US, UJ is saying. UJ is usually, usually trends with the market. Um, UJ kind of looks like it's going down. Kind of. I can't even tell. Yeah, UJ looks like that's just going down. Yeah? Downtown. So that means gold up on the low lows? Uh, yeah, typically. Um, that means stock market down. Do this. Yeah, I, I really think gold is going to end the week at the lower 1500s. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, have you yo, have you looked into um actually like the whole China-US trade deal stuff? Like how that's affecting gold at all or no? Apparently we're going to, we're having like a more of a resolution. Like I'm not even sure what's even happening with that stuff. Why would have you been hearing? Um, honestly, I don't know. 
I thought you would, you know, be the fundamental man. Yo, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, I just, I just slowly um, hear about what people are saying about China, and I do like zero research. You know, like I'm always after the facts. So I've heard that the trades talks have been. Um, so basically, they came to an agreement, but they the press can't see what they came to. I think the same thing for NAFTA too. They're NAFTA oh, 2.0, okay. where they're coming to an agreement, but like the public's not sure. Yeah. All right, let's look at this. Let's look at this goodie. So this is gold you sent me. So you think it's gonna drop yeah. down to 1500, and then it could break this well, line. Yeah, but alternatively, it can go. It can go up to the same spot that you're thinking. Right. Right. Just like from right. Like a technical standpoint, because I I see like a what what is that a. Uh, Reverse head and shoulders, or whatever you call it, upside down head and shoulders. You're right. Yeah. Um, JPY. Man, it looks like it's up. Let me see what you got. JPY. Hmm. I mean, you see up. I see up. I mean, Only because like, be. like when I look at the four <laughs> hours, it looks like it's still kind of consolidating, right? And the last couple of days have been, you know, up. So ah, uh, right, right, right. Bye, right. Like that. Look on the yeah. weekly and look at that massive like white right. bar. Holy, the almost weekly. doesn't even make any sense. The weekly. What what bar am I looking at? What day or what uh, week? So weekly, there's two white bars next to each other for the weekly for the UJ. Okay. And like last week's bar is like this massive one. Um, I don't see it. I don't know if it's because I'm on trading view. Might be. Here, let me let me show you what I have. Because <laughs> usually trading view does it. Uh, like their opens are a little bit different. I don't know if you see it. The white bar. What? Okay, what price? What price am I looking at? Oh, I, I just sent you another one where I pointed Look. to it. Sorry, the bullish candle. Ah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I forgot we have different colored <laughs> bars. Yeah, man. My, yo, my bad, bro. My bad. So what, what about that? I'm just saying it's big, right? It, it like engulfs like so much of the bars to the left of it. You know what I mean? So so up is the way. Yeah, it's like massive bullish pressure that should be enough. Cause even like the supports, like the the resistance lines that I've drawn aren't really that yeah. like they're not really that strong, if that makes sense. Nah. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's interesting. Cause like usually support will become resistance and vice versa, right? Like when it's strong in my eyes anyway yeah so it's like it doesn't even seem like a high like you can clearly see that like to the left of that there was an actual high you know there's just a spot that it could stop but it's not really like a strong okay my thing is going to be very vague uh but I I feel like it's up I feel like it's up Pump, pump, pump uh, it up. Well, look at you, cat, and then S and B. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, is she going to the moon, Broski? Going to the moon, fam. The moon, bro. This is a new, new high, though. For what? For UJ, right? Yeah. Yo, that's climbing. I'm telling you, it maps to the SMP. The guys have been here for a <coughs> long time. <laughs> For the longest time like ago. Since, since freaking 2019, man. <laughs> oh, fun. Okay, let me let me view my accounts. I wait. Right up, what up? Recording, yo. Know, right now, I want to do a little sidebar. You know what I mean? I, I want to show you uh, my accounts. So right now, I'm holding 31,000 worth of assets. Uh, you can see my top holdings right here. I want to be adding in 20,000 into this account by the next four months. So right now, my main 10 assets are Amazon, 
SPHD, McDonald's, MPW Gold, AT&T. Got some bonds in here, Facebook, Total Index, and of course CNQ. CNQ is a new one because it's not correlated with anything I have, which I like, and it pays a lot of dividends. So that's my portfolio right here. In the next next video, I'll uh, break it down even further by going to analyze. But we got a lot of equity, a lot of alternative investments, a lot of fix. I'm actually holding 20% in cash, which this doesn't show. So yeah, next time we'll break that down even further. All right, I had, to, I, had to, I had to have a little sidebar in there, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, Papel, you can. It's still in the channel. UCAD, um, <clears throat> yo, I don't like the way that UCAD keeps going down. It doesn't even make any sense to me, you know? Why? Hold up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever the Canadian dollar is getting stronger, I'm like, this makes no sense. So on mine, interestingly enough, I have my long term moving average, um, my dynamic support that it hit. Yeah. So usually that supports pretty strong, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. My thing looks a little chaotic, so I'll see if I can clean up some stuff before I send it to you. It looks like I'm just like, I don't know. But here, let me let me send you some goodies. Did it? Yeah, I think UCAT is going to... I think it's going to continue going down a bit. I think it's gonna come back, up, come back down to 129, and then just blast up to the upside, or even go back down lower to 128. But I feel like it's more likely that to go down to 129. Back to 129, right? Yeah. And then make a little double bottom, finish up that channel, and then you know continue up. I could see that. I'll kind of show you like what I'm what I'm seeing, because it hasn't tested that support again. Yeah. Um, exit that. Like if I had to choose that. now, I'd, I'd buy now. If I had to choose now, like I'd buy. Because there's that uh bullish candle to the left, right? I said sent you some goodies. Let's see what you got for you, Cad. Yeah, so there's this like there's this like downward trend, right? And it's like you're saying mm -hmm. that after it breaks, it could break to infinity and beyond. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of lines yeah. on my chart. I need to space them out. But uh you got barely <laughs> yeah. is the gold weekly? Yeah, so my goal is my weekly resistance. And I have, if you see that pink line at the bottom there, yeah. that's, um, that's yeah, basically yeah, the long-term weekly moving average. So it's like, that's like a super strong support. Yeah. Typically. Right. So I'm like, mm, it doesn't seem to break that, that green line I have at the bottom down there. Um, yeah. that's like where I think the best buy would probably be. Um, yeah, yeah. So maybe yeah. I'd have <laughs> I'd have some sort of buy around the gold line, and then I'd have a thousand pip stop loss, and then have like a two thousand pip take profit if I was a long term okay. trader. But I'm not, yeah. so I'm not taking that trade, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I would take that trade in my uh, my actual money. If that makes sense, like uh. What I have in my Canadian RBC account transferred to US. Hold that for the whole year in US stocks, you know? <laughs> oh, God. And then you said you want to look at the US one, um, the US. So this is the SP. 500. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, I want to see what I you like draw. Still, still buys, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, 
Bro, like every week has been bullish. Every like the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last eight weeks have been bullish. I need to fucking make money. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess my question is like, where would I buy for a pullback? You know, or would I just buy momentum? Like I, I guess that's my thing. Well, well, are you holding it for long term, short term? I mean, I think a recession's coming soon, so like I'm not So if it has a five percent pullback, I would maybe buy some like high dividend ETFs. I'll show you kind of where where my buy would be. Or I'd buy um so recently I bought Uber because it's really depressed mm-hmm. stock and I bought McDonald's. McDonald's is doing great. Such a great buy. I love myself for that. McDonald's is now my um <laughs> Let me see. My third biggest position. I bought 10% oh, of it. 10% of my portfolio in McDonald's, apparently. It's kind of funny to think about it. That is shit, bro. And it's been going up like crazy, baby. And my plan is um, there's a bunch of earnings announcements at the end of this month, right? So yeah. I have a shit ton of cash. So if I see any depressed stocks, like one stock that just gets hammered, like an yeah. Apple or a Microsoft or something like that, then I'm just going to like buy up, buy up like a thousand, two thousand worth of it. And then the, I'm just going to put a bunch of my shit in uh, bonds and stuff like that. Okay. Yo, is this S&B you just sent me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like <laughs> the the way I'm trading S and P now is I would just um see where the pullbacks are. So that's a five percent pullback. Yeah. And then I didn't adjust the other lines, but five percent pullback. Yeah, I just did the oh, math, like three thousand three hundred divided by three thousand one hundred. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So those are where you, where you take your buy then? Yeah, uh, that's where I take my buys. Like I don't know what you would do, but I wouldn't. I don't buy on like the index. I'd buy like stocks like McDonald's or oh, Uber. Okay, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Um, Cause honestly, I, I, I think this week like, I'll be looking for buys like all the time. I, I would never, yo, I would be so scared to sell the S&P ever. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Literally terrified. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, can we look yeah. at Euro Odd? I have a Euro Odd trade this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Euro Odd. I haven't seen this pair forever. Wait, hold on. What did you <laughs> send me? Now I think about it. I sent you S and P. Just uh, just a one hour, I think, or four hour. No, it's one hour or thirty minutes. Shit. Oh, so you think it's gonna go down first before it goes back up? Yeah, yeah. Usually right. Sundays are weird. Like, like usually Sundays you can't really rely on text too much. 3,300. So you have 3,300. So yeah, we got the, we got like the same thing, bro. We got the same thing, broski. We got the same thing, broski. Oh, did I send you a pic? I didn't send you a picture, eh? What, s and Yeah. Yeah, I see. I see your, you sent the weekly. We didn't, you didn't really add much, but like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't draw on it. Okay, yeah, that's good. Um, Let me draw on it. Ooh, your eye is looking juicy. Juicy. Yeah, what's it saying oh, to you? Man. It's talking to you? <laughs> yeah, um I don't have an exact direction. If I had to choose now though and say buys. But um I definitely see a friggin' uh what do you call it, man? That pizza thing. <laughs> That's a pizza. Yeah. It's definitely consolidating a bit. Uh, I forgot what this thing is called, man. What's got hungry, hungry? Yeah, man. Um, hold on a sec, bro. Let me just dry it up for you. Wrong thing to do. Cause you're saying you love me, and I'm in the blood. And I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bam. Hmm. Yeah, this is some consolidation, bro. Holy. Okay, I can sh I can just show you basically where I would take a buy. Mm -hmm. On the weekly, I see. It's funny how everything's buys. I think that's just the way the pairs are made. They have the stronger pair on the top and the weaker one on the bottom. If that makes sense. Because uh -huh. why is everything always buys? You know, like what the. <laughs> For real. Yeah, man. I I, I feel like it's more the buy is more likely than the sell. That's how I feel. Yeah, and and what I'm showing you, like I don't know if. Like, I don't know per se if it will go down this weekend at all, but I'm just so, showing you where, like, I would be comfortable buying on. Um, see what you did for your odd. Oh, so for you, if it breaks this point. Ooh, this is clean, bro. This guy has vision. Yo, this guy's a naked trader for real, bro. God damn. <laughs> So you're saying if it breaks this momentum, then it can drop heavily. Yeah. To the oh, this is hour four to the yeah. support here. This is probably a daily support, I'm guessing. And yeah, it, I mean, at least like if it drops, like like the one point six away would be nice, of course. One point six. Right. Um, so you say one point six. Okay, cool. Ooh. So this point here is what I would say I would be comfortable taking buys there. Um, but I guess I'm saying that in mind that I wouldn't be comfortable having this sell. Yeah, because I, I don't think there's much, much for the sell, like much, um, profit unless like it breaks that, that 1.6, right? You know? Right, right. What up, yours is on hour four? Yeah. Oh yeah, an R4 looks clean. Clean as bro. What the hell? So like um a, a matter man would have some sort of sell stop if you're that type of trader. Uh yeah. But yo, that's, that ain't me though. You don't you don't like sell stops though? I never use sell stop buy stop, I never use that shit. And uh Ted, that's all he trades in now is sell stops and buy stops. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> right. I don't even use that. Hundreds of thousands doing that, like. Yo, there was some news trade that I was in uh, last week, and he hit the trade, and it was like a hundred thousand dollars. This guy made. I was like, what the fuck? Whoa. One of the people in the group, he's like, yeah, I just made like one hundred forty-six thousand. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? That shit don't make no sense. Do you mess with this <laughs> Slack program now at all or nah? But bro, I haven't even used it. I keep hearing about people using it. I'm like, oh, this is like a thing that everybody uses. Bro, where, where you hear this? <laughs> Yo, I, I don't even know. Like, people just keep bringing it up about Slack. Oh, it's like, what look, the messaging. It's what? It's instant messaging. Yeah, bro. It's it's actually lit. You know what? I read an article on this, actually. No, I read an article on this. I remember now. On what? Um, On this whole Slack thing. You're just saying, like, it reduces productivity. You're saying it what? It reduces productivity and shit. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, bro? Well, like, you know how, like, emails, like, you know, you get to it when you get to a type of shit? Right. With Slack, since it's more of, like, instant messaging, people are expecting, you know, uh -huh. answer now, though. Oh, oh, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Bun that. Emails, I wait forever, bro. Oh yeah, yo! Emails sometimes don't even get back to them. Like, if, it's, if it's really important, they'll they'll, they'll 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 come to me again or CC the correct people. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I looked up Slack Slack dot com. Its official motto is Slack, where work happens. But for some reason, I read Slack where no work happens. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. it's so funny. Oh, bro, you, yo, we gotta get on Discord, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yo, this looks like Discord. Actually, Slack looks like Discord. Um, yo, so I went on Discord lately, right? Yeah. 
Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, I want to Discord lately, right? And um, <laughs> yo, funniest thing ever, man. Oh my God, so jokes. Um, I went into this guy's debate Discord and I was just debating heavy, heavily. Yeah. And uh, yo, I swear my buddy grew like seven inches. So it was so fun. No, Holy no. <laughs> dog, I swear, bro. Not even lying, dog. Oh my God. It was like, um, what's his name? Like Discord, I didn't, I never really knew what it was for, but I guess it just allows you to voice chat really easily, right? Yeah. And yeah. I was always trying to figure out how to get into the debate world, and that's just what you do. You go into these discords. I hit up people in the forum like, "Yo, who wants to debate about this?" And, you know, so I debated about my boy Andrew Yang, mm. and um, after that, <clears throat> after just debating about Andrew Yang, some guy said yes. So I went into a group, and as soon as I was in the group, like eight other people joined, right? And I was just like going oh, at it, man. dropping facts, bro, just straight fact bombs. That's crazy, man. What the hell? That's what I'm saying. Well, do, you have, do, you have bro. do you still have it open? Um, I can give you the Discord. It's one of the streamers I watch, but I can I can let you know which one it is. Okay, okay, okay. Do you do you use Discord at all or nah? No, honestly, when I was gaming, I'd be yeah. But other than that, no. Why'd you use it for gaming? What do you do when you used it? Cause um, honestly, the the quality, like the sound quality, was a lot better than freaking like when you look at Facebook or Skype or any other type of chat right service. Yeah. Yo, if I knew I how to send discords, I would um. How do you? Bro, send you just copy and paste the link, bro. What link? Like, like whatever, whatever the the web address, man. Oh, there's an invite people button. Okay. Yeah, bro, hop in this, man. I, yo, I, I like masturbate to this guy's Twitch channel. It's so good. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. He like, he like, uh, does Twitch battles against like white, um, nationalists. Okay. So funny, man. <laughs> And is it like posted? Like, yeah, yeah, he posts it? on uh, YouTube. But um, in this, he has like debate channels. So like right now, it looks like nobody's debating, which is funny. Mm -hmm. But like we could we could like hop in a room and just like debate each other in one of these rooms, low key. Okay, okay. Or or like do a trade, like just like hop into one of his rooms and start talking trade stuff, you know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Dino. Yo, is it Dino? Dino, what the hell? Destiny? Okay, you know what? Never mind. No, 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 no. This it says this link expired. It says the link's expired? Yeah. The hell? All right, let me let me go find something. I'm tired of this guy, bro. Hey, man. I'll I'll send you the link that I found. Okay. Yo, this this guy. Huh. Tell you I didn't yo I didn't know Discord was so lit man Discord changed my life bro. Word. Yeah I'm telling you bro my life's different now. Word. Yeah people I feel like people use it more for gaming though you know. Oh yeah a thousand percent. Yeah. It's no slack. slack. Don't you, don't you pay for slack too. I wonder, actually, like, because they sent me an invite, so I wonder if one person's paying it and everyone can use it. Because basically, like, they're doing all their live sen uh, seminars, like, they do, a, like, a New York session every day, basically. Oh, okay. They do a New York session, an Asian session, a London session, and then, like, you can just go in and hop in the link. Well, and that's then, crazy, bro. That's going to need it. Isn't it, yo, isn't it f actually fucking crazy? Like, holy, bro. Did you hop in? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're so like the first thing I did when I started typing is um, uh, I typed in there like, yo, you might want to put your shit on private. I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, yo, is your name Errol Stewart? I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Pop up in your link. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we can see your Facebook and Spotify. It's connected, right? Whoa. What? Wait, did you did you um? Hold on a second, bro. Yeah, you can you can unconnect it, right? If you go to connections. 
Yeah. Right now my streamer mode's enabled, so I gotta Okay. Get rid of that. Yeah, no, I'm but... just connected, you know. I'm never connected. I'm a fucking ghost out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you none of your shit's connected? Nah. Oh, you're golden, bro. What the hell? Ooh, oh, you're nice. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 good. All right, bro. You know, NBA chats. What the hell? NBA. You guys, an NBA chat room. Oh, Wait, yeah. so who who is this guy again? So basically, he's like a political. He's a guy who used to be into games, but then like 2016 happened, and you know everyone's like going crazy about Trump. So then he got into politics, and then oh, he just debates like God. random people either on the right. He used to debate a lot of like white nationalist, like kind of racist people. And yeah. then he debate now he debates like lefties, like people who are like, yo, the government should like own everything and communists and socialism would be so great. You know, those people. By the way, yo, guys, I also do a podcast. It's called the Uneducated Investor. You know, feel free to subscribe. You know what I mean? We got daily episodes out all the time, such as I bet I can guess if you will be a CEO or not, or why so much CEOs are 6'2 or taller. So if you want to find that good stuff out, make sure to subscribe to the Uneducated Investor podcast. Hold up. Do I have a do I have a, a page? Hey, let me do it on the other <laughs> screen. I don't, I don't want them to see my, my, my stats. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Good idea. Uh oh, I messed up. Oh, so you're, you're you're screen recording this too? Yeah, 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 exactly. Man, it's creating content. Content, bro. Because my thing is like, bro, easy. I could release this once a week. You know, I'll have all my thoughts on paper about the week thing if I ever want to hop back into it one day. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's content, bro. Content is oh. content is is content. No oh, content is content, bro. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> but anyways, yo, thanks for watching. It's your boy Fly Stewie. Um, I'll do this at least once a week. This video I'll actually put up, and uh, love your faces, man. Subscribe to me on Twitter at Fly Stewie. See you guys next time. Later.